A Message from Mother and a Message from Me, October 17, 2014. Beloved Family of Light. Once again it is as if everything is speeding up, and to quote OTMN I feel like a brand new person again and again. The images, the insights, and all, is flowing in so fast that by the time I understand one there are more, it is mind-boggling, but in a good way. After reading through what you have all shared here during the last 24 hours or so, I could not agree more, it is mind-boggling, and in a very good way. If you have not yet seen the latest comment posted by Amist AR, and the response that it has generated, I think you should take a look at it, for I think it is very much linked to the message I have been given to share with you today. When I sat down to channel it, I could feel from the energies coming in that it would be a powerful one, dear ones, it is once again a delight for me to be able to commune with you in this manner, and I do so with much joy on my part, for I know what awaits you all in the time ahead. For your journey has taken on a new meaning in so many ways, and when I use the word journey, it is to imply the one that you as individuals are taking through your soul, but also the one that you as a collective have taken upon you. For now, so much has been brought to light that will literally put even more life into your endeavors, and as you continue to gather speed, you will also continue to gather momentum for us all so too for me. For again I come to you in the shape of the mother, the compassionate one, and the all-embracing one. The one that has known you all from the very beginning, and the one who will follow you every step of the way. For I am you, just as you are me, and for every breath you take, you help to liberate a new part of me, and of us. For we are a union of souls, and we are a union of particles, and together, we are beginning to coalesce into a whole new whole, one that will nullify the separation not just between us, but between all. For you walk a path that cauterizes all of the old wounds, and for every new step you take, that gaping wound is closing up behind you. And when it closes, it is upon fresh and unspoiled matter, not on the old and festering material that used to be here. You see, you have lance that boil well and truly this time, the boil that was hidden beneath the scrapes of mortality you cleared up earlier, and now, true healing will take place, not just for you, but for all. I bring you today the greetings from all of creation, and I do so with a joy that can barely be contained, for within you, a new star has formed, one that shines in many hues, one that cannot be contained or compartmentalized in any way. It is the star of knowledge, and it has been there all along, waiting for you to make the connection, waiting for you to clear away the tears of anger, of hatred and despair. And now, it has begun to shine, and it will only continue to magnify as you yourselves continue to clear your conscience of all of the remaining traces of despair, misfortune and misadventure that still linger in the corners. For it is all love, and it is all for a higher reason, and it was all necessary, but now, you do not need any of it anymore and so, it is time to simply continue forwards, and let yourself take those first free steps into the future. For this is such a gift you have given yourselves, but it is an even bigger gift you have given all of creation. For you are truly free spirits now, and so, what you have helped to set free, will in turn serve to liberate others again, far from your shores and far from your scope of view. But I see, and I see how the joy in my core is reflected in yours, and through these blemish-free mirrors, it is continually reflected into all of creation, creating life where there was only hope, and creating a future where there was only a past. I bless you all and I say Godspeed again as you continue forth on your journey of salvation, a journey that has already brought salvation for me as well as for you, and a journey that will continue to bring solace and celebration to all. Tomorrow my sister and I will take another step on our journey, for then we leave for Crete to take part in Philip Soler's workshop on Sunday. Dear Philip and Sue, Murray, Ingrid, Ildiko and everyone at the Orison Center thank you all for making this happen, I am certain it will be such an important event for us all. And to all those of you traveling from near and far to take part in this, we are so happy to get the chance to meet you. 
I have a feeling there will be more of these get-togethers in different parts of the world in the months ahead, so I can already say that I am really looking forward to meet all the rest of the shining souls gathered here at the pond. For one day in the not-too-distant future, I just know we will be able to make a real live group hug that includes every single one of us. We will stay in Crete until Saturday the 25, and I am certain that it will be a magical week, probably with more than a few nice surprises for us all. I will not bring my computer with me, and I think I will be completely offline the whole week we are there. That means no new messages from me or the CCs until Monday the 27th. It also means that any comments who get stuck in the spam filter or for some reason get stopped by WordPress, will not be published until I get back next Sunday. I can feel the anticipation and the energies building, and I just know that this will be a very special period for us all. For we are all a part of this, no matter where we are, and I am certain it will feel as if we are all literally in the same room this Sunday when the soul event takes place. I love you all so much, and I want to thank you all for the way that you have helped to give birth to and nurtured this pond into what it is today. I also want to thank you for what we will bring to life together in the time ahead, as we each continue to bring more and more light to this pond and to this world. For the CCs are so right, more and more of these hidden treasures they have talked about are beginning to emerge, and most of them come from you. With eternal love light and gratitude from my sister and from me, Esher. The Manuscript of Survival Part 428, October 15, 2014 You see the changes happening within you with your inner eye, for so much of what is going on now, is taking place in that inner landscape of yours. And even if some of what we are referring to is indeed happening to your physical body, most of it is happening in a space that is not defined by any such boundaries. In fact, most of what is going on now is taking place in those parts of creation that mankind seems to think do not exist at all, or perhaps only as figments of your imagination. Well, let us just say that in this, who could not be more wrong, for the space we refer to, is indeed far more real than the illusion you currently look upon as your reality. Let us explain. Mankind has for eons gotten used to the idea for that is truly what it is that for something to be real, it must be tangible in some ways. In other words, it needs to register in your mind by way of your five senses, and so, you have narrowed down your scope more and more. In fact the more adept you have become at detecting even the most minuscule of particles with your technical equipment, the less inclined a large number of the population on this earth have become to believe anything that does not come up for scrutiny in this kind of way. In other words, mankind's spiritual development has in so many ways been arrested by your technological development, as in large swathes of the populace, the reality way showers like you have already stepped into will be scoffed and ridiculed at any opportunity that arise for them to do so. Have you given any thought as to why this seems to only multiply in some? Perhaps it is to do with the fact that they themselves feel an inner stirring from these hidden chambers within, and so, in order to eradicate that fear of, for them, the unknown, they will do what they can to erase those self-same stirrings in other. So again you see the polarization continue to strengthen as the light continues to gather momentum, but again trying to stop the light by resorting to the same old weapons of ridicule, persecution or silence in the hope that these notions will die out are no less than follies. For you all know so well by now that what you have started to unlock within yourself is simply a tiny little part of the vast force field that actually penetrates all of mankind, and now, you stand before a new chance to help to liberate even more of that force field. Again. No one can be forced to open that door they have tried so hard to forget even existed within them for eternity, but now, you will all help to set into motion certain significant events that will make that door more prominent within all. And so, more and more of your fellow men will begin to take notice of what it is that is calling to them deep within the confines of their hitherto restricted worldview. For they will begin to take into consideration that their worldview, the one that is limited to what you see is all you get will start to crumble, and when it does, many will crumble alongside with it. 
You see, not everyone is prepared to really take in the truth that this will uncover, for it will fly in the face of everything they have taken for granted. Not just the empirical facts and figures that for so long have been touted as the laws of nature but also the notion about mankind being the single intelligent species in existence not just on your planet, but in all of creation. We know that for you, this will be old news, for this is what has guided you on your journey from the very beginning. But for many others, the simple fact that everything they have believed in in every sense of the word will begin not simply to be questioned but literally to be proven wrong on all accounts, will simply be too much to bear and so they will shut down, and step away from it all. This may sound dramatic, but remember it is not given that every single human incarnation living on this planet at this exact time have given themselves permission to commit themselves fully to the reopening of these inner portals this time around, and so, what they will choose will also be defined by that decision that they made on a higher level even before they ventured into a physical body this time around. We say this in order to remind you all that no matter what takes place in the weeks and months ahead, know that it is all happening for a reason, so too the more personal effects this may have for some of you. For you are all sovereign beings, and you are all instructed to follow the plan you yourself were so instrumental in setting up even before you started to step down from the totality of your being and entered this current physical vehicle that you know as you in human form. And so, you will simply do what you came here to do, and so will everyone else you see around you. For even those you might think devoid of a soul all have one, and it is just as brilliant as yours but the life choices they make are also guided by a higher part of them just as yours, no matter what they set themselves to do in the time ahead. We give you this reminder now because we do find it prudent to do so, as what you stand before now, is such a major shift it will serve to stir up a lot of different reactions. For as usual, when the tide of light comes in at such a force as it will do now it will once again begin to literally push a whole host of buttons in every single one of you, and in every single one of your fellow men. Granted, the outcome of all of this will not be instantaneously noticeable, nor will it necessarily manifest in just the way that you might think. For the light will do what the light always does, push the scales and tip the balance, sometimes one way, sometimes seemingly in the very opposite direction, but the one thing you need to remember is this no matter what actions that will be initiated because of this incoming flux of light, they will all serve to bring mankind closer to source by allowing them all a chance to find a way to disclose what it is they have been carrying with them for eternity. In other words, the chain of events that soon will be set into motion will begin to spawn so many viable offspring by way of vibrant fields of energetic interactions that will begin to take place between hitherto unconnected individuals, and this in turn will affect a wider and wider circle around each and every one of these individuals. Again, we speak in somewhat convoluted terms, but we think you by now have begun to grasp the fundamental part of this message. You stand before a grand unveiling of mankind's own abilities to reset and resurrect ancient veins of creativity, connectivity and compatibility. For you are creatures capable of great achievements, far far greater than what you can currently observe around you, and now, this will truly begin to come out in the open, in every sense of the word. For you will begin to receive information that has been kept hidden, and some of this information will indeed come in a very concrete form, not just as in messages like these. For you are still very much creatures bound by that old maxim of only what can be seen can be true, and so, your eyes will finally begin to see the unseen, and your hands will finally be able to touch the unknown in ways that you have not been able to do before. But as these hidden treasures begin to surface, they will in turn initiate a vast process of resettlement amongst you all, and when we say that, we do mean all of mankind. For what is beginning to emerge will change not only your future, but also your past, and with it, the whole foundation of mankind will begin to shift and rearrange itself in a process that in itself will serve to unsettle so many before you all start to find your true bearings once again. 
we venture to guess that you will already begin to see proof of this announced even in what you call your mainstream media. For the news will also begin to contain real news, not just the usual mixed bag of disinformation and distraction, and so we say, keep your eyes open and let your heart guide you, and we think you will all begin to unearth some of these treasures yourselves. For remember, some of what we refer to will be like hidden gems in a whole mountain of trash, so keep your wits about you and follow the scent of interest coming from the most unexpected of corners. And again, remember to share whatever it is that you might stumble upon, for this in turn will serve to lead another group of like-minded souls more directly to the source that is waiting for them. And so, this process of uncovering and of evolving will begin to rapidly unfold and we think you will all find yourself caught up in the excitement fairly soon. Just remember, what excites you might inside another, for many of the old truths that will be relocated to the scrap heap are truths that are holding up quite a few of your fellow men, perhaps even some of those closest to you. So do not be surprised if what delights you will turn someone else to despair, but you must also remember that you should never let that deter you from finding your truth. For this is all about the continued quest for the truth, the one that has been hidden for such a long time, but is finally being allowed to come out into the light again. But as you all know so well by now, the full force of the light will be too bright for some, and so, they will once again do what they can to turn their back on it, and for some, that will also entail trying to pull as many as they can with them as far as possible into the lingering shadows. So once again we say remember to focus on the light, and you will find all the confirmation you will ever need there. For your heart will once again be the guide that will take you back to your own call, and there, there is never any doubt, nor any hesitation, for then, you will at all times simply know just who you are and what amazing feats you and this whole collection of wonderful individuals calling themselves mankind are truly capable of. And now, this truth will begin to crystallize more and more as these hidden treasures begin to emerge, some of them from the sea, some of them from the land, but most of all, from you.